Hey guys, Fox here. I'm going to run through a bunch of game guts here so I can put a bunch of shit away and share everything that I got with you guys. So, first up over here is Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. This only ended up being like 47 bucks on Amazon in the end. Uh, so, that's awesome. And another thing is, this thing ended up being way fucking bigger than I thought it would. It's huge. I think this is like the real size of a Model 1. Sega Genesis, and it's tall as fuck. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, if you flip this switch here, Sega! pretty awesome. <laughs> and it came with this fake cart, Genesis cart. Looks like the real thing, but uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Uh, there. Now it slides out the bottom and. There's a metal ring in there. Kind of neat. you think they would do all this, they would spring for maybe a physical copy instead of just the coat sheet. But Whatever, this thing is huge, man. I mean, look. I got the regular Model 1 down here. Move this uh, cord there. So look at that thing. Holy shit. Anyway. Let's move on to the other stuff. Um, I've been really into collecting original Game Boy lately. It's pretty cheap to collect for, and there's a lot of fun games. It's really easy to pick up and play whenever the hell you want. So, definitely been diving into that. Um, I picked up a complete copy of Dr. Franken. Uh, this is perfect timing, because I will probably uh, play through this one uh, during Halloween. Uh, but, yeah, along with Gargoyle's Quest, I think. So, awesome. Picked up a complete copy of 4 in 1 Fun Pack Volume 2. Just some basic, you know, games on there. Game pack, obviously, 12 bucks. And then I picked up a complete and box copy of F1 Race with the four player multi tap inside. Uh, I got that a little cheaper than that. I think I've only paid 25 for this, but yeah. Happy to have that for the Game Boy Collection. Now let's get all the fucking cheap, loose Game Boy games I got here. We'll go through fast. So here we got Radar Mission. We got Konami NFL Football. Check out some of those old helmets. <laughs> we got King Griffey's Major League Baseball. We got Fourth, copy of Shanghai, copy of Solitaire, this one's a little dirty, Let's clean it up, and a copy of uh, Daedalian Opus, here's a good one, Tecmo Bowl, uh, NFL Quarterback Club, The good and yet fun tennis. And a Madden 97. So yeah, I'm just collecting anything and everything I can get my hands on Game Boy wise. You know, without breaking the bank of course. So those were all pretty cheap. I think out of this stack the most expensive game was Tech Mobile at like 10 bucks. So most of those were like $3. <laughs> Alright. We have a copy of Mystic Defender on the Genesis. A very, very tough game, but uh, a lot of fun. Uh, you see a lot of the other YouTubers talk about this one. I just noticed that turtle sticker there. Um, got a couple of original Xbox games. Finally added a non-Platinum Hits version of Kotar here. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So, excited to finally add that to the collection, because I really just don't like those Platinum Hits. And I have Siberia 2, so now I have Siberia 1 and 2 on the console. Now I just need to pick up Siberia 3 on the PS4, and I heard it's been dropping in price pretty recently. Um, I picked up a new Nintendo 2DS XL. 
I have to say I really like it, and the reason I really like it is that it's I think it's significantly lighter than the new 3ds XL. So that makes me happy. It's a lot less. It's not top heavy at all, um, which is nice. But the only real downfall to the system, I have to say, even though the speakers are decently loud, they tend to get blocked by your palms a little bit. So it's best to use headphones, I'd say, with that one at least. Um, found a copy of Six Pack on the Sega Genesis, and let's see, here, let's see if I remember what games we got. Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Super Hang-On Columns, and Revenge of Sonobi. It's a pretty epic card, actually. That was a Goodwill find, I believe. So was this. We got Beetle Adventure Racing. Surprisingly great little game. Um, I think you saw in my last video, but uh, here's Monster Hunter Stories. Still haven't decided whether I want to play this one yet or not, or save it for later. It might happen sooner than later. I uh, also got a copy of Case Story Plus. I've been playing this on and off. It's it's quite a bit of fun. Good little, uh, what's dare, dare I say, Metroidvania style game. Um, but <laughs> that's what it is. And it's it's beautiful. Good, good soundtrack. I like that Switch version. Oh, and this Switch version sounds pretty well equipped here. Target receipt there, move that out of the way, but comes with a little mini soundtrack, one of those little mini discs, and a manual that's very much like an old Game Boy manual. It's even got some story color. I thought this was pretty sweet. Beautiful little artwork. That's a, that's a lot of fun and a lot of work they did not have to include in this, but they did, and could have been happier that they did, to be honest. All right, moving on. Um, so on Amazon, this was on sale for like 25 bucks one day. So I went ahead and picked it up because it's probably by far one of my favorite games that I've ever played, and that's of course Persona 5. But this is the PS3 version, and of course it's sealed. But the fucking disc is rolling around in there, so I'm gonna have to open it up and put the disc back. And the last couple things I got here are something my wife picked up for me. Uh, she found them in a little candy shop in downtown Denver and thought they were pretty cool looking. And they're these little tins. I mean, they got candy in them. I haven't opened them up. Uh, but of old arcade cabinets. So you got Ms. Pac-Man. I like the layout of it. It has a slanted screen in there too. It's pretty neat. And she got me Pac-Man. Very cool. Thought those were super awesome. Anyways, guys, so there's all the pickups that I got. Nice, quick, short video. And thanks for watching.